In this video, we're going to do some more exam style questions on curve sketching. In the first question, question number three, it says sketch the graph of y is equal to the quantity 2px minus 1 multiplied by the quantity 2 minus x multiplied by the quantity x plus 3 given p is between 1 and 2. We need to label clearly any points of intersection with the coordinate axis. If we look at this, this is a cubic equation. We've got x x and x. Multiplying this out, we will get a term in x cubed. If we consider now this is a positive quantity, so what we're going to have is a positive x multiplied by a negative x multiplied by a positive x. Therefore, this is going to be a negative cubic. When we're drawing this, it will start in the second quadrant and come out the fourth. If we consider now where this crosses the x-axis, y is going to be equal to zero. So 2px minus 1 is equal to 0, so x will be equal to 1 over 2p. If 2 minus x is equal to 0, then x is going to be 2. And if x plus 3 is equal to 0, x will be equal to negative 3. If we look now where this crosses the y-axis, that is when x is equal to 0. So that will give me negative 1 times by 2 times by 3. So we'll have now this point right here. And the point we're going to have is going to be 0, comma, negative 6. I'm just going to deal with this before we uh, label this on. We don't know whether it's going to come before or after 2. So if we consider now if p was just under 2, what we can say now is that 1 over 2 lots of p is going to be now around a quarter. If we look, if p was just above 1, then what we could have now is that this is going to give us 1 half. So it's going to be, now this root is going to be somewhere between a quarter and 1 half. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and sketch this up. Remember, this is just a sketch. We're going to have now a negative cubic. We're going to have this point, which is going to be negative 3, 0. I'm going to put on here that this is going to be 1 over 2p, comma 0, and I'm going to put this point just here, which is going to be 2, comma 0. I'm going to have this point down here, and this is going to be 0, comma, negative 6. So what we're going to have now is a cubic equation, and we start in the second quadrant. So what we'll have is something that looks like this. So we'll come round, let's come down and round. We'll come up, back through like this, and then round and like that. That is a possible graph now. So that's what we've got um, and that we can simply now say is y is equal to the quantity 2px minus 1 multiplied by the quantity 2 minus x multiplied by the quantity x plus 3. So quite tricky um, but hopefully if you know the shape of a cubic when we have a negative or a positive and you can get some appreciation of the magnitude of the size of 1 over 2p that should be okay in an exam. Okay in question 4 we're asked to sketch the graph of y is equal to 2x, uh, 2 over x minus 1 where x can't be equal to 0 showing any points of intersection with the coordinate axis and stating the equations of any asymptotes. Let's just go back to y is equal to 1 over x. This is our standard reciprocal curve, which we've seen in the videos. So what we've started doing now is 2 over x. So y is equal to 2 over x. And then we've done y is equal to 2 over x minus 1. So what I'm going to do here now is simply put a scale factor stretch of 2 on, and then I'm going to move it down by 1 unit. As a result, we're going to have something that looks like so. Remember, the asymptote generally now for y is equal to 1 over x will be the x-axis or the line y is equal to 0. Because I've now lowered this by 1, it's going to be y is equal to negative 1. We'll still have the same vertical asymptote on the, the y-axis or, if you like, x is equal to 0. So we've got x is equal to 0 as the vertical and y is equal to negative 1 as the horizontal asymptote. I'm going to go ahead and draw this and we're going to have something that looks like this. So it'll do something like so and then we'll come the other side and it will do something like so. So I'll come round like that and that's what we have. This asymptote right here is bang on uh, the y-axis. Perhaps I should make that slightly clearer 
let's just do that there we go and this now will t uh, tend to that asymptote so if we just tidy that up a little it looks like it's just um deviating slightly so let's just but remember this is a sketch that looks a bit better so we can say this is going to be y is equal to 2 over x minus 1 and we can say now that x can't be 0 division by 0 is undefined as we discussed previously okay so in part b it says the curve y equals 2 over x minus 1 meets the straight line y equals x at the points a and b we're asked to find the coordinates of a and b Okay, what I'm going to do is just put it on here for now. Let's just go ahead and do that. Do remember that uh, when you're stating the equations of these asymptotes in the last question, you are clear with them. Right, what I'm going to do is put the line y is equal to x. That's going to look something like this. So what we can do now is see that we're going to have two points of intersection. So what I'm going to write now is the following. We're going to have x. Now, y is equal to x. And we're going to have y is equal to 2 over x minus 1. Therefore, what we can do is simply say that x will be equal to 2 over x minus 1, as these are simultaneous equations, and we have two different expressions for y. Multiplying through by x, x squared is equal to 2 minus x. Add in x and subtract in 2, x squared plus x minus 2 is equal to 0. This is a quadratic, it will factor x plus 2, and then we're going to have x minus 1. So that will give us now that x is negative 2, and then we've got x is equal to 1. So all I've done is solve for these. So we can say now, when x is, so when x is equal to negative 2, y will also be equal to negative 2. y is equal to x. So when x, so when x is equal to positive 1, y will also be equal to positive 1. So we've got the coordinates and we can say now that a is going to be now negative 2 comma negative 2 and b is going to be 1 comma 1 or if you like the other way around. a is 1 comma 1, b is negative 2 comma negative 2 and we can see graphically 1 1 negative 2 uh, negative 2. That's not a massively accurate diagram. And we wouldn't leave this on. This is just me showing where it is. OK, uh, let's look at the next bit. State the single transformation that maps the graph of y equals 2 over x minus 1 onto the graph of y is equal to 2 over x plus 3 minus 1. Well, this is going to be a horizontal translation. So what we can say then is this is the f of x plus 3. We can say now horizontal, so horizontal translation and this is in the negative x direction if you want the vector the vector is negative 3 0 and if you want you can write now negative so negative x direction so x direction and we can have now a three unit so any for anything that along those lines it is perfectly fine so now it's a negative 3 0 uh, translation and we're moving that to the left or the negative x direction Okay, in part D, we're asked to write down the coordinates of a point where the graph y of y equals 2 over x plus 3 minus 1 crosses the y-axis. So what we're going to have is x will be equal to 0 when it crosses the y-axis. So y is going to be equal to 2 over 0 plus 3, which is 3 minus 1. So that's going to give us y is going to be equal to 2 thirds minus 1, which is negative 1 third. Therefore, we're going to have now the point 0, comma, negative one third. So all we've done is substituted that in. Um, if you wanted to know where this crosses now the x-axis, set y equal to 0. And by the looks of it, that's going to be negative 1. OK, um, so that's done. So nice, nice bit of graph sketching. Again, take this off. Don't leave that on. Um, you're not asked to put that on. So let's just uh, delete that. There we go. And that's what we have. Okay, question 5a. We're asked to sketch the graphs of y is equal to x multiplied by x squared minus 1 and y is equal to 2 over x where x can't be equal to 0 on the same set of axes. This is a cubic equation. It's factored so far that we've got a linear and a quadratic. That quadratic, though, can be written as the difference of squares. So difference of two squares, x plus 1, x minus 1. This is a positive cubic equation. 
we're going to have now this point right here where x is equal to 0, when now y is equal to 0, x is equal to negative 1, as we've seen plenty of times before, and then x is positive 1. If this means nothing to you, do go back and watch the videos where we've built on this learning. It passes through the origin, so we're not going to worry about finding the, the point where the, of the y uh, inset, and then we're going to have a nice graph just here. So we're going to have this point now, so that's going to be negative 1, we're going to have positive 1, uh, so let's put this on 1, 0, let's put negative 1, 0, and then 0, 0. In fact, I'll just tidy that up, it looks a little messy. Okay, so from that, let's go ahead and put that this is 1, 0, slightly better. So all I'm going to do is draw this, and we will come round, it's positive, so it's going to start now in the third, come round, and be nice and symmetric, let's go through that point, and then something like that. Okay, so that's what we get. We now need to draw y is equal to 2 over x. So all this is is the standard reciprocal function with a scale factor stretch of 2. So what we'll get is something that looks like that. Again, not massively accurate, um, but gives us some idea. These are just sketches. So it looks something like that. So what we've got is y is equal to 2 over x. And again, these aren't brilliant, uh, but it gives some representation. So y is equal to now x and then we've got x squared minus 1. Okay, we have not asked to state the equations of the asymptote of this particular graph, but again, if you were, then x is equal to 0, which is the y-axis, and y is equal to 0, which is the x-axis. They are the asymptotes. So let's put that there, asymptotes, on the graph of y is equal to 2 over x. We're told on here x can't be naught. Um, that's defined for this particular curve rather than the cubic that goes through the origin. Okay, in part b, we are to state the number of solutions to the equation x multiplied by x squared minus 1 is equal to 2x. Well, the answer is, how many points have we got of intersections with these graphs? The answer is one just here and one just there. Therefore, now, if we set these two equal, this is saying where are these going to cross? The answer is in two places, just here and just here. Okay, we're asked in part C to show that the equation x multiplied by x squared minus 1 equals 2 over x can be written as x to the fourth minus x squared minus 2 is equal to 0. So let's start it off. Any show that question, I'm very explicit in what I'm doing. I don't care if it takes me slightly longer. I want the examiner to know exactly what I'm doing. So multiplying through, we're going to have x cubed minus x is equal to 2 over x. I'm even going to tell them now, multiply it by x. That's going to give me now x to the fourth minus x squared is equal to 2. And then if you want, you don't have to, subtract 2, uh, subtract the 2. Uh, let's just, I'm talking my way through it. This isn't mandatory in terms of scoring marks, but I'm on a show that question, marks are easy to drop. They don't, the examiner doesn't know that you know what you're doing. So x squared minus x. Uh, so x to the fourth minus x squared minus 2 is equal to 0, and then you can put as required. If you want to put QED, you're more than welcome to. I personally wouldn't, uh, but it's an option for you. In part D, it says using the substitution p is equal to x squared, or otherwise solve the equation x, squared, x to the fourth minus x squared minus 2 equals 0, giving your answers in exact form. Okay, so what we're going to have then is the following. If p is equal to x squared, let's now take this expression x to the fourth is just p squared. So what we'll have is p squared minus p, and then we're going to have on here minus 2. And that's equal to 0. So if we just look at this, what we've got now is the following. I've just used now this particular substitution. We're just essentially feeding this in. You don't have to do You can just factor this as x squared um, what's it going to be? x squared minus 2 and x squared plus 1. So what? let's just factor this. What we're going to have is p, uh, that'll be p minus 2, and then we're going to have p plus 1 is equal to 0. So p is going to be equal to 2, or p is going to be equal to negative 1. Therefore, what we can say now is the following. x squared is equal to 2. Now, or we've got x squared is equal to negative 1. Now, x squared can't be negative 1. So all we've got from here, 
just writing therefore x squared is equal to 2 and we can write that x is equal to plus or minus the square root of 2 and that is going to give us what we want we can leave it exactly like so it says leave your answers in exact form x is equal to plus or minus the square root of 2 x squared can't be equal to negative 1 um, we can't take the root of a negative number and get a, a real value um, if we just look at the graph as well, let's just draw y is equal to x squared. What this is asking me now is the following. It's saying to me, where is this now equal? Let's just go ahead and look at that. Uh, where's it equal to negative 1? The answer is nowhere. Where's it equal to 2? Well, we've got two points just here. We've got one here and one here. One of them is the negative root of 2, and one of them is the positive root of 2. So there we go. Um, a few more uh, graphing questions hopefully that's given you some flavor if these have been challenging please go back and watch the building videos as these assume uh, that level of understanding